Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today I have some novellas perfect for the Halloween season. While you're watching this, we're actually a few days in to the novella a thon, the Halloween edition. And so I thought I'd give y'all some recommendations to read um, if you are wanting to pick up some books during this Halloween October season. These are all novella length, so they're under 200 pages. And I think they give the perfect Halloween vibes for sure. So let's get into these 10 novellas. I love novellas so much. They're just so fun. If you want more novella recommendations, I'll leave those down below, but these one are specifically like the more, um, I don't want to say darker, but they give like the Halloween vibes, October vibes. They give me those feelings, fall vibes, October vibes, monster vibes. Okay. All the Halloween things. The first one that I have is a recent read of mine. This is Servant to the Spy Day by Ruby Dixon. This is the fourth book in her fantasy romance series. You could technically read this one as a standalone if you'd like, but I do think you would get more out of it if you read the other books in the series first. So just like be aware of that, but you could, you could read it. I'm not the reading police. Okay, I'm not the reading police. Um, but we got to read about Yelena, the heroine of this book in book one. And in book one, she ends up offering herself up to be the human anchor to three gods, the three spy day gods. They are the gods of fate, of the past, present, and future. They have like spider-like qualities to them, but they don't look like Katon from Ensnared. <laughs> like they don't look like giant spiders. <laughs> so like, don't freak out. <laughs> but this was a really fun, quick read. It's on Kindle Unlimited. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure all these are on Kindle Unlimited. Most of them are. But um, this one is a great little read. It's about her getting to know these three gods and them falling for each other. They know nothing about love or being with a woman because like they just are gods. They only control like their level of fate. They're part of fate. They've never had experiences like that before. Um, but also it's interesting because I don't like why choose romances where everyone like is it together, you know what I mean? Um, but like, there's no sword crossing in here, but I actually really liked this one because um, normally those aren't like my cup of tea, you know? Um, the ones where there's no sword crossing. But it's interesting because these three gods are essentially like one person just split into three different beings because they have different qualities to them, three different powers they have. Um, so it's very interesting. So I really recommend this one if you haven't read it yet. Then I have Found by the Lake Monster by Lillian Lark. Our heroine in here, I think her name is Amy. She is walking in the woods one night when she ends up getting like saved by this monster. She's wandering around the woods, is completely lost in the dark. And this lake monster finds her. He's actually a creature called a Nyx, I'm pretty sure. And he thinks that Amy is somebody she is not. He's expecting a blind date from a matchmaker, from a paranormal matchmaker, and he's expecting a witch to show up. And he thinks that Amy is said witch and brings her back to his cabin where they have dinner, they talk, they get to know each other, end up even like falling for each other a little bit. Um, and he has no clue that Amy is not who he thinks she is. So um, it's a short little read if you want something hot and fun with a lake monster. It definitely like, I was picturing the guy from um, The Shape of Water in my head. <laughs> like that's who like this creature reminded me of. Next I have Viri Dios um, by L.A. Holloway. This one is only 105 pages. Viridos is an alien creature who looks very similar to Groot from um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Like the author even said in the author's note, she was very inspired by Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. And she was like, why doesn't he have a romance? I'm gonna write one. So that's what she does. Um, the heroine of this book, her name is Alea, and she is a scientist on this planet. And she ends up getting taken by Viridos because he thinks she's a pet and he wants to keep her. Um, he's this like giant tree creature and <laughs> he ends up keeping her, but then realizes like she's a sentient person and is like, oh, I probably shouldn't have her as a pet in a cage. <laughs> so this is really cute. I love the size difference in here. I like flew through it. The hero is so stinking sweet. Like I love sweet heroes. So this was a fun one. Next is Little Green Vines by Britt Andrews. Okay, I love this one. If you want a sapphic one, this is one to pick up. So our heroine of this book, she is one of the heroines of this book, the human heroine of this book. She is living by herself on the edge of these mysterious dark woods, okay? 
and um she ends up getting lured into the woods she was told don't go into the woods don't do it by her family from her friends like don't go into those woods there is there are creepy things in there um but then she i think sees a kitten like lost and injured and is gonna go help it it ends up luring her deep in the woods where her um future captor is going to be <laughs> so it's actually this monster creature woman who's like a shapeshifter of sorts in these woods and she's had her sights set on this human for a while now and she's lured her into the woods to make her hers and who it's a good one this it's a good one take my word for it or read it please read it. and that one was only 43 pages so quick quick read an even shorter one is two scoops of hellfire by kimberly lemming this one's only 30 pages long um but kimberly lemming she just makes me laugh my butt off so if you want a short novella that will make you laugh like look no further this book takes place during like the lockdown covid times and the heroine really wants to learn how to bake um but she's like a witch or something or she doesn't know she's a witch and she accidentally summons this demon while she's baking it's absolutely iconic i love it it incorporates baking and like monster demon love like say less he's like a hellfire demon so he can like <laughs> breathe fire and stuff like it's pretty good i was laughing so hard like she makes me laugh no matter what. For October, you cannot go wrong with picking up a Layla Fay monster romance novella. You cannot. So I have to recommend Jack, like Jack, of course. Um, this is basically romance with a guy who has a pumpkin for a head and the heroine of this book um, named Susie. And <laughs> she's feeling very lonely in Halloween. And so enter Jack. Um, and these are just funny bizarre freaking books okay i laugh so much reading these okay there's even also jack 2 which is about uh susie and jack from book one the one i just talked about their kid all grown up and his romance with a woman named ava who Layla Fay named the heroine after me like she specifically like she told me she named her after me so um <laughs> if you want to read about an ava getting with a monster jack laner dude like there's jack too <laughs> so, it's funny it's so funny so freaking funny like if you just want to laugh during halloween just pick these up they're so good then i have monster island laughing my butt off with this one too okay like i read these books when i need a good cackle like they are so funny so the heroine of this book lives in our world it's basically our world except if like monsters exist and um there's this reality tv show called monster island okay and <laughs> basically um it's where a convicted like convicts you can either choose when you're convicted of a crime you can either choose to be in jail for the rest of your life or you can choose to be on the reality tv show monster island where these convicts will be dumped onto an island full of monsters and you basically get televised of these monsters eating people <laughs> and so the heroine of this book um she's like a thief or something i don't know she's like more than willing to go to this island and she's like i want to go to the island <laughs> it's not because i think i'm gonna like kill a bunch of monsters or anything it's because i want to get with one i want to get with a monster <laughs> so this is about her getting with one specific monster on the island who's like kind of like the ruler of all the other monsters the biggest the baddest okay and um it's so fun it's so funny i was laughing so hard like the reality tv show aspect in here iconic another like ogre one because the the guy in that previous one is an ogre is no getting over you by ml eliza the heroine of this book is on a hike along the appalachian trail and she falls into this cavern and gets saved by this ogre who lives alone he's lived a very lonely life and he has basically claimed this human woman to be his and they they fall for each other they do it's really he's so sweet and all he's wanted in his life is a family and for someone to take care of him and someone just, and for someone that he can take care of there you go um and there's a language barrier there because he cannot like he doesn't understand language really um but they make it work they make it work it's a fun like hot sweet <laughs> monster romance next is what's the ice giant by Layla Faye I should have probably talked about this one when I was talking about the other Layla Faye books but this is one of my favorite ones by her it's one of her most recent releases um where a human woman has been um it's part of this series sorry where um humans and monsters get matched to like their best genetic match or their fated mate if you will and our heroine of this book got matched to this giant this ice giant so it's full of size different stuff 
Um, and he ends up taking her back to his kingdom with him where she has to get to know him and his people. Um, it's kind of a culture shock of sorts, uh, but they fall for each other, obviously. Um, a quick, short read. Like if you love size different books, like this one and then Veridos in this video specifically have size different stuff. So, And the last one that I love to mention is Little Slice of Hell by Cleo Evans. Um, the audiobook, there's an audiobook for this one if you want to check it out. Sometimes it's hard to find novellas with audios because um, like the production value is so slim. You know what I mean? Like it's a lot of work just to produce like a little novella, which I totally understand. But there is one for this one. If you have any play, it's on any play. Um, but basically this series is the Creature Cafe series where the guy on the cover here, he's the barista if you will and he has my magical powers to basically set people up like set people up to their like perfect match and one of the guys in there's this is an NM romance so one of the guys who's like I think the um like monster creature ends up going up to him wanting to find his fated mate he ends up matching him up with this human and that's all I want to say but it gave me like sweet sweet but hot vibes for sure <laughs> I want to read more in this series I haven't read any more but I definitely want to because this one was so fun. There you have it. Those are some romances to read during the novellathon. If you are stumped, if you want to read like Halloween-y ones, monster ones, <laughs> um, you can go check out my other rec videos for novellas if you want even more recommendations or just DM me if you want some more. Like just do it. I will send you recommendations galore. I don't care. <laughs> I love doing that. So um yeah that's about it um let me know if you've read any any of these books or if you plan to and how your novella thon's going i would love to know i'm going to be filming a vlog for it so you can anticipate that um but if you don't feel like commenting anything else you can leave me the fire emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all